into it, RSI, again, we're looking at a stock here. We're looking at Facebook. We're back to the daily chart. So each candle represents one day. So it's a stock, so you see we have a lot of gap downs, we have a lot of gap ups, and then we have the RSI, which is our indicator line on the bottom here. All right, so the RSI typically, I don't think I've seen it any other way, but typically comes with um, this line on top and this line on bottom. So you see the 20, you see the 80, right? Um, now forgive me, I am, out of all these, I, I don't use RSI, I'm not a pro on RSI, I'm not a pro on any of these, clearly, but um, on RSI, the important thing for me, is, is it, I can't remember if it's a percentage, I'm sorry, 80% or 20%, but what I do know and what the important part is to take away from this is that on here, on Facebook, since we're looking at Facebook, this stands out, um, this peak, if you will, um, is now kind of showing that Facebook is into an overbought situation. And closer down here to 20, it's more a little bit oversold, right? So what does that mean? Can something really be overbought or oversold? No, not in my opinion. And I'm pretty sure uh, factually that's not how it works. You can't buy more of what somebody's selling. There always has to be a buyer and a seller, right? Especially for stock. And for crypto too, right? But what that means is that probably the price is rising incredibly fast. People are paying uh, more and more for that price uh, quicker than maybe them that can handle. And as you see here, this is the exact same place. You know, it gets consistently driven back down, right? Went up too quick, gets drove down. There's another resistance up here. Works perfectly with this RSI. It's overbought, right? Boom, gets knocked back down from that. Um, that resistance and now you're not even going to be overbought anymore because that overbought situation right there created this resistance where that price isn't going to go over anymore so once again I'm a nerd I think it's pretty cool how the indicators work together but you can definitely see how the overbought RSI creates a resistance here that knocks the stock back down for months um, uh, is that months now well, that's a couple months, yeah. So it's an it down pretty good. <clears throat> and then you'll see it goes into a little bit of a oversold situation down here. Nothing too crazy because nothing's poking out down here. But, you know, it gets knocked down a little bit. And then finally, if we're looking at support and resistance again, because you know I love support and resistance, it breaks this re uh, resistance right here. And, I mean, now it's crushing. It's cruising from 1, you know, 53 or 155 all the way up to... Uh, you know, 175. So that's pretty incredible price movement right there as well, especially for a company like Facebook. But um, yeah, just use them together. Support and resistance works well with most of these. I try to take off the Bollinger Bands and all these SMAs uh, just so we could focus on uh, what the slide was going over. But uh, essentially, it's it's a momentum indicator, right? And like we said, primarily used for overbought and oversold conditions. Um, we already talked about this overbought, oversold.